I have great relationship with the Mexican people. I have many people working for me. You can look at the job in Washington. I have many legal immigrants working for me. Many of them come from Mexico. They love me. I love them. And I'll tell you something. If I get the nomination, I'll win the Latino vote. I will win it because I'm going to create jobs. He is businessman, real estate developer, reality show TV star, bombastic mogul, and the political candidate who at the moment is removing every stitch of air from a room when he enters it, save for the slices he leaves behind for the masses. Donald Trump is the political news of the moment, driving issues to the forefront, driving his opposition mad, and driving pollsters to the tearing out of their hair, trying to decipher what his popularity is saying about America and the presidential race. This all started with a comment about illegal immigrant Mexicans coming to America and draws to Trump's comments that if given the chance, he'll win the Latino vote. First up, we're joined by the former vice chairman of the Latino National Republic Coalition, Republican Coalition, I should say, of Long Island, Juan Pablo Andrade. Joined by chairman of the Republican National Hispanic Assembly, Gonzalo Ferrer. Gentlemen, I want to thank you both for joining us today. And Gonzalo, I'm going to go ahead and begin with you on this, simply thank because you. let's get right to this. Donald Trump says, I will win the Latino vote. Does he have a chance? No chance in hell. The message that he has sent to the Latino, to the Hispanic American population is that you are not wanted here, basically. There is no other alternative. His messages have been with intent to hurt and actually to convey the message that we are not the right kind of people. He said it several times. It's not the first time he said it. He said it on three occasions, the first time at the GOP convention in North Carolina. So I don't think that uh, he can draw any Hispanic American vote to come to uh, to, vote to come to the front and vote for him. All right. Now to Juan Pablo, let me throw it to you then because uh, you just heard it. No chance in hell. Your reaction. See, I think Donald Trump, I, I agree with Gonzalo. I don't think he has a chance that much in winning the Hispanic vote. Uh, mainly because of his comments with the Mexicans and the immigrants. But uh, I wanted to start off by saying I've had the, being a New Yorker just like Donald Trump, I've had the chance to work with Donald Trump on many political issues here in New York State. Uh, most recently, uh, last year, when he was deciding whether or not he was going to run for governor in New York State, I know he could have worded his uh, words uh, wa more wisely. Unfortunately, he didn't. But I'm very sympathetic of what Donald Trump had to say. Well, let's start there, Juan Pablo, because certainly there are people who say that he didn't say it right, but there are some people saying that what he said in essence was correct about criminals, is what they're trying to get to, and illegal immigrants. Is it possible that it's a long, long campaign, that he's then able to take things as they calm down, smooth it over, and be able to get some of the Latino vote back if he starts talking jobs and an immigration reform? Yeah, I definitely agree with that. If he starts talking more about jobs and focusing on immigration and how, how, how to help uh, legal immigrants get more jobs, I would definitely think he would definitely have a better chance at getting more of the Hispanic vote. So, Gonzalo, let me go back to you then, and not just the Hispanic vote itself, but the overall vote. Why do you think that America is resonating with what Donald Trump is saying? Because let's face it, it comes down to America. They're looking at illegal immigrants in this country. And it's certainly, we have to look at what happened in San Francisco and the murder of a woman at the hands of an illegal who had been sent back and forth to America like a tennis ball. People want to see that change. They want to see it fixed. Well, we all want to see that fixed. I mean, we all, we want, we all want to see felons, uh, undocumented felons deported. There is no question about that. But his statements were far beyond that. And they were focusing on Mexicans and Latin America and South America. Several times he said the same thing. There is no proof that the undocumented population has a, criminal rate, a criminality rate higher than the average population in the U.S. The, the situation like San Francisco an extremely poor, poor, unfortunate and they shouldn't have ever happened had we just had the controls in place. But we lower our guards and this could happen. But that similar cases in other states, if the person is not an undocumented person, it goes and not is. So it, we have to be very, very realistic about that and, and get 
away from the hype and the frustration. What, Trump, what Donald Trump is doing is channeling the frustration that we all have regarding several issues. But he actually picked on the Hispanic and American vote. And unfortunately for him, 7% of our voting electorate it has its origins in Mexico. I am one of those people that are not the right kind of immigration for South America. I moved from Argentina basically for because I didn't see any future in Argentina with populist you know, policies and, and going like Greece every five years. Okay, but you would then I'm say, though, in getting to all this, though, that he still, in your opinion, has insulted not just Mexicans, but many Latino Americans as well. Oh, all right. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. We, we get that. Because how can, you tell, how can you tell a person that is walking in L.A. on the street that is an, a documented person or an undocumented person? When you stigmatize everybody with a statement like he, the ones he has said, Okay, let me then come to Juan Pablo on this, because you said something else that I want to get to Juan Pablo on and open up here. The frustration level. There is a frustration level in this country, Juan Pablo, for yeah. those born here, those not born here. It doesn't make a difference that the illegal immigration is a problem here, whether it's jobs, whether it's crime, whatever. So is it possible, possible that Donald Trump pushes that conversation forward and gets the rest of the GOP to pay attention to it, the left has to pay attention to it, and it becomes a more important issue simply because he relit that fuse. I definitely agree with you on that and agree with Donald Trump as in the immigration. Immigration is a huge problem right now in our country. The South and the Central American countries are not helping by sending more of the people across illegally. Obviously, when Donald Trump said that, the Mexicans were murderers, drug dealers, and rapists. Obviously, not many of those people are uh, criminals, but we, at the same time, we don't know who, who are the criminals that are coming by. And especially last week with the death of Caitlin Steinle, uh, that's a perfect example of a young woman who was just killed by a man who was deported five times and then came back and into this country again illegal but illegally. do you think this will push it forward do you think that what's happening in here and the fact that we're having this conversation right now it will push the 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 issue forward and get it solved yes i definitely think it will okay now gonzalo same thing to you on this and, I, and i've only got about a minute I, I, left I don't, I don't think so you don't think so no 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 because his intent was to hurt an entire class of population. He Why would he hurt an entire class, though? Because he, right, he employs because a lot of Mexican-Americans, and he has a lot of people who work in his organization. Why would he then take them all to task because, so, so wide? Because he only focused on undocumented immigration from South America and Latin America. And he didn't say anything about Asian or European or any other continent for, the, for, for that purpose. But would so you say, though, that a lot of the issue, though, is that southern border, and that's the perception that the southern border is being used mostly for a Mexican population across America? Well, the problem in the southern border is much more drug dealing and money laundering than anything else. The actual security issues in the border actually are money laundering and drug dealing rather than anything. I mean, that won't change even if you put a 10-foot wall. So that's not going to change. So un un until such time when the, the entire country deals with that issue, we're not going to have the problem of security in the southern border. And, so. and there you go. I'm going to have to stop it there because we are out of time. But I tell you what, gentlemen, we've opened up a lot of discussion here. We're going to do it again very soon. Gonzalo Ferrer, Juan Pablo Andre, thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. We'll do it again hey. soon. All right, let's go ahead and ask the American people now. Donald Trump is rising in the polls. It's a very simple question. Would you vote for him? Is he speaking to you? Coming up next, indisputable fact there's a deep-rooted conspiracy at play in the current elections on Midpoint.